In this tutorial, I will be going over a really cool new feature we've just added, which is the ability for members to block other members on your network who are bothering them. We've also added the ability for members to report content that they don't like. I'll be going over the reporting feature in detail in a separate video. In this video, I'll be focusing on the block feature. In order to get our new block and report features, first thing you'll want to do is update to the latest version of BuddyBoss platform. And if you're using our BuddyBoss theme, you'll want to update to the latest version of the theme as well, just for the styling updates. And then you'll notice a brand new component here in BuddyBoss components called moderation. Allow members to block each other and report inappropriate content to be reviewed by the site admin. So we'll go ahead and activate this new component. And then we can go into the settings, which we can see is at BuddyBoss settings moderation. And from here, you can see we have two new settings areas, one for blocking and one for reporting. All right, so to get started, we're going to check this box, allow members to block each other. When a member is blocked, their profile and all of their content is hidden from the member who blocked them. So this is really useful if you're in the network and some other user is annoying you for some reason, maybe they're harassing you or just putting out content that you don't like, you can go ahead and block them and you won't have to see them ever again. And all of the other content that they post within the network will also be blocked from you pretty much immediately. So I'm gonna check this box and save the settings. And now when I go to Nicolina's profile here and refresh it, we see we have this new option to block her. Before I do that, I'm gonna come back here and check this option as well. Automatically suspend members after they've been blocked at least five times. And we can customize this. So not only have we built the ability for members to block each other, we've also actually built a whole suspension system in here as well. So we can automatically suspend members and when a member is blocked, the administrator is going to see reports. And based on those reports, the administrator can manually suspend members as well. So I'll go through all that in the tutorial. And we can also check this to notify admins when members have been automatically suspended by email. So first let's check this. I'm gonna drop this to after two times just to make it simpler for demoing things in the tutorial. And we'll save that. And let's also check this email notification. All right, so we're going to test this out and then we'll see how it works. So I'm gonna to head to Nicolina's profile here and I'm going to click to block her. And it gives us this nice notice telling us what's going to happen. Please confirm you want to block this member. You will no longer be able to see blocked members posts, mention this member in posts, invite this member to groups, message this member, add this member as a connection. This is automated. It's connected to which components you have activated. So for example, if you turned off social groups, then this one would go away. If you turned off messaging, then this one would go away. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm the block. And you can see it automatically redirected me to the blocked members area in my account settings. And here we can see a list of every member that I've blocked. This is going to be in my account under blocked members. I can always come back here and unblock someone if I want to. All right, so now that she's been blocked, I'm gonna go back into the administration area and click on this moderation tab. And in here we can see reports. So we can see that there is one member who has been blocked, Nicolina. So I can view the reports as the administrator and I can see what happened. The user named Michael blocked her. She's been blocked one time and this is the date she was blocked. So from here I can suspend her if I wanted to and I can also suspend her from here. This is really useful because this auto suspension, you don't have to use this, right? You could just let users block each other. And when you come back here, if let's say you came here and noticed that Nicolina has been blocked many times, that's going to give you a reason to possibly suspend her or at least look into what's going on and see why is this member being blocked all the time. Let's now log in as another member and block her again so that we can see her getting automatically suspended and see how that works. So I'm gonna come back here and go to the members directory and I'll log in, let's say as Maverick. And we're gonna go to Nicolina's profile and we're going to block her again. So now we can see from Maverick's perspective, he was redirected to his blocked members area and he can see that he blocked Nicolina, but he can't unblock her because she's actually a suspended user at this point. Let me switch back to the admin again. And when we come back here and go to moderation, we can see that Nicolina is listed as a blocked member and she's also suspended. This is what we expected because we set up the network to automatically suspend her if she's been blocked two times. I can click on suspended here and see all suspended members. 
when she shows up here. I can also unsuspend her if I want. We can also go here into the users directory. And when we go to Nicolino, we can see that she's highlighted red and she's suspended. And I could click unsuspend from here as well. So here I am logged out. I'm going to quickly just show you from the perspective of Nicolino what's going to happen if she tries to log in here. So I'm gonna to try to sign in and I'm putting in Nicolina's credentials. Error, your account has been suspended. Please contact a site admin for more information. So she's suspended from the website and cannot log in. And then coming back to the front end, we can see that Nicolina does not exist in the members directory. All content from her is now removed. And this blocking feature also extends into the messaging component. I'll go ahead and show you that. All right, so I'm going to switch to Luna so I can see the messages in her inbox. And as we can see, Nicolina was previously one of the participants in this message thread. So we can't just delete the entire thread because other people are still participating in it. So instead we're showing her as a suspended member with her content hidden. The rest of the thread is still active. And then I'm going to log in as another member just to show you one more thing. All right, so I'm going to click on Jessica here and log in as Jessica. All right, so let's say I'm reading this message thread from all these other members logged in as Jessica. And Mateo put this response, and for whatever reason, it really bothered me and I decided I wanna block Mateo. So I can go in here, and we can see this new menu in the dropdown, block a member. So let's click that, and it asks me if I wanna block a member. So I can now block any of the members from this conversation thread. And I wanted to block Mateo, so let's click block. Please confirm you want to block this member, confirm. And just like that, Mateo has been blocked. We can go back to the thread and the content from Mateo is blocked for me. Now I'm gonna click on Madeline for a moment and log in as her and see things from her, her perspective. All right, so now that we're logged in as Madeline, we can see that the conversation thread from Mateo remains because Madeline has not blocked her, so she still sees this content. So again, blocking is only for that member who blocked them until the user gets suspended, in which case they're suspended from the network for everybody. All right, so I'm going to switch back to the admin and show you a couple more things. If we go back into Buddy Boss settings, moderation, we had this email notify admins when members have been automatically suspended. So when Nicolina was suspended, an email was sent to me as the admin, and we can actually customize this email. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. We just go into Buddy Boss emails, the same way we customize other automated emails from the system. And I'm gonna find that email. And here it is, site name, username has been suspended when a member has been automatically suspended due to reaching the reported threshold. So if I click to edit this email, we can see the template. The user has been automatically suspended from your network as they have been reported however many times and you can click to view the reports. So if you want to edit the content of that email, you can go ahead and do that here. And then I'm gonna show you one more thing. If I come back to components and deactivate the moderation component, we get a warning. Please confirm you want to deactivate the moderation component. The reason we're showing you this warning is because all the suspensions and the blocked members depends on this component being enabled. So if I say, yes, I understand, deactivate. And then we come back to the members directory. We see that Nicolina is back, even though she was previously suspended from the network. If I go back and reactivate moderation and refresh, then now she's blocked again. So it's important that you're aware of that. And with that, we've covered all of the major features of the new block member area in our moderation component. We're really excited to get this out to you guys.